All right, when you read the daily headlines and you see all of these attacks that have been successful against governments and large companies, you really have to wonder why is it so easy for hackers to exploit these systems and steal that data, mm -hmm. right? Now, not, not all hackers are using zero-day attacks that are currently unknown or have no countermeasure. Many attackers will simply use existing hacks that are known and can be stopped with antivirus solutions, but instead, the attacker avoids detection by using some of the programs we're going to look at in this very section. Mm -hmm. This tool is called Stealth Tools, and it is used to modify the executable by simply adding bytes to the software. This simply means that the program will function as expected with no changes to it. However, the program called Stealth Tools will add bytes to the executable, which changes the signature of the program or virus, which then makes the virus undetectable. When one of our security professionals first tested this, he has, um, or was using Netcat and had uploaded Netcat to a virus detection website and every one of the virus tools had found that it was a virus. Wow. He then proceeded to add bytes to the Netcat tool and uploaded the new files to the exact same websites. He found out that only three of the antivirus tools were able to find this new file even though it was just Netcat with a few additional bytes. It is very disheartening to see how easy it is to bypass antivirus programs use and tools that any of us can get access to. It is important to take note that hackers will also use compression creation of visual basic scripts, scrambling headers, and changing readable strings in order to prevent and avoid detection. Right. And Stealth Tools is an old program that is not often used today. Mm -hmm. uh, a method used to avoid detection today is called Refud. We take our server program and open it in a hex editor and change some of the code in order to change the signature of the server so we can avoid detection that way. Now, this method uh, requires a fair understanding about hex editing and can be rather challenging. Many pen testers uh, prefer a simpler method. Mm -hmm. Today, the tools available to avoid detection have many additional functions. Soft Cryptor and RDG Cryptor are two of the commonly used tools hackers utilize to avoid our security countermeasures. Notice the screenshot with all of the functionality built into this tool. We can avoid a sandbox and a virtual PC along with changing the hash and utilizing the anti-debugger option. Notice there are different types of programs or methods of avoiding the virtual machines or antivirus programs. Many of the systems function slightly different, and therefore this program takes that into account. Notice at the bottom of the third column, we can also change the icon. This is really an amazing program. Yeah, it's pretty cool.